Team Rubicon is a veteran-led humanitarian organization that responds to disasters both domestically and internationally. We're a little over 160,000 volunteers uh, with a little over 35,000 active folks. Case Construction Equipment's purpose is to build communities. And when disaster strikes, we are right there in partnership with Team Rubicon to rebuild the communities that need it most. We've partnered with Case Construction since 2015 at the start of the heavy equipment program with Team Rubicon. What Case does is they provide equipment for us when we respond to disasters, and they also provide equipment for us to train our bracers to become those independent operators. One of the coolest parts of our partnership with Team Rubicon is our heavy equipment operator training, where Team Rubicon volunteers come get trained on how to operate Case equipment safely and efficiently. We'll do initial training for folks, which we're doing right now on the other side of the site. We've got some proficiency training that's going on for folks that are on their second and third weekend out here. We also have some subject matter expert training going on. And what that typically involves is some kind of demolition operation. And RPM machinery just so happened to have a structure that needed to come down. And we're kind enough to allow us to use that as a training opportunity. As soon as I heard about the Team Rubicon opportunity, I jumped on it because I knew that we could make a consistent difference over time by being a partner with Team Rubicon. And we feel really proud that the brand we represent in the marketplace is supporting an effort like Team Rubicon. Our partnership with Team Rubicon is a great example of how case construction equipment, the CNH Foundation, and CNH Industrial, our parent company, come together to make meaningful change and impact in communities that need the most. Tornadoes hit Kentucky uh, two years ago on December 12th, I believe. December 13th, as a heavy equipment operator, we were already in Kentucky uh, that quickly to help assist residents. I call it hugs and smiles. I'll go to a house and you see that look of just shock and distress in the, in the homeowner's face, and it's heartbreaking. Our primary capability as far as heavy equipment goes, we do debris management, Sawyer support, we do route clearance, and we also do home demolition and some other projects as well. Right now we're running what's called an HEO1 class. We take um, new Team Rubicon volunteers, we bring them out here, run them through obstacle courses. We have organic material over here. We have metal and debris where these guys can really come in and work the gravel buckets and simulate a true emergency or a true disaster. It's a force multiplier, you see, the, the, the work this machine does when our sawyers are cutting. We can't do it without Case. I gotta go back and grab a shovel if, I, if we don't have Case's cooperation. When I uh, joined Team Rubicon, I had zero experience uh, with heavy equipment. Today is a special day where I am being assessed for a promotion or advancement to a heavy equipment operator level three. You're only as good as you prepare to be. So through events like this, we get to push those principles out to our students and that makes us that much more valuable and efficient in the field. Behind me, we have an active demolition going on. It's actually a training, which is something that we don't get to do very often. So it's awesome that we have the opportunity to set up Larry to learn. The experience here as part of the heavy equipment operating a training course has been phenomenal. When I started, there was one excavator and a skid steer that we had the case used to supply to us. And over the years, it's grown into training facilities, more backing, more support. It's the only way that we've been able to grow how we have. We're excited to keep working with our dealer network to expand this training so we can be ready to answer the call. At the end of the day, if we can get the trees off of their house, get the debris out of their yard, it's not necessarily a smile, it's a look of relief. And oftentimes it's a hug, you know, just thanking us for caring. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty special to us.